So here's an interesting use case for the application that we developed in the previous episode. You are studying for your test. You are reading a textbook. You have no idea what's written on the textbook. Here, I have this page of textbook says something about marginal rate of substitution and marginal utility from our econ test, and I have no idea what it's talking about. Look at this formula. How am I supposed to understand this? Not to worry, here's what Gemini can do for you, right? Go to my app, take a picture. Let's get started. And boom, there you go. It says here, the picture is a page from a book. It is a page about microeconomics. The picture shows how to find the marginal rate of substitution. So it's able to see something from the picture. But this is too little information, right? How am I going to understand with two sentences what this formula is talking about? Not to worry. Let's just ask. So here, I give an example. I say, what is the formula doing? And how is DU derived? Now, I'm asking something very specific. DU is referring to this term here on the left-hand side of the force formula. So let's check it out. And boom, there you go. It says here, the formula is a total differential of a utility function. It is derived by taking the partial derivatives of the utility function with respect to each of its argument, then multiplying each partial derivative by corresponding change in the argument. Uh, for example, the first term on the right-hand side of the formula is partial u partial x times dx. This term represents the change in the utility that results from a change in x, holding y constant. The second term on the right-hand side of the formula is partial u partial y times dy. This term represents a change in utility that results from a change in y holding x constant. Now, that's something interesting, right? It's actually able to go into this formula, even though this picture sucks, right? It's like low resolution. It's able to go into the formula, look at the first term, look at the second term, and trying to explain and describe what those things are, which I thought is something interesting. And then let's continue. The total differential of the utility function is equal to zero because the utility function is constant. This means that the change in the utility that results from a change in x holding y constant is equal to the negative change in the utility that results from a change in y holding x constant. So now, of course, I took the class. Obviously, I know what this formula is. And I can tell you guys that what this description here is doing is exactly what that formula is talking about, even though this is not even a complete chapter, right? The page I'm holding in front of the camera, it's like a third of the page. So there you go. Something like that is interesting. Hopefully, this will give you some food of thought. Hopefully, this video will give you some content, some new information about Gemini and show you guys a couple of use cases and see how this thing could be eventually helpful for your job, for your work, for the tasks that you do in the industry. Hopefully, and this is a message to all of my audience, if you're interested, let's collaborate. Let's put some of this stuff in production. So there you go. Hope you liked the video. Stay tuned, and I'll see you in the next episode.